think that they did a nice job, uh, to, to give them some credit here, of putting him in a corner. What struck me so deeply about that meeting was that Donald Trump doesn't himself want the wall. That is not the meeting you hold if you want the wall. The difference in what he wants in funding and what he's currently got in funding is about $3.7 billion. I mean, Lawrence, you know federal budgets. That is nothing in the federal budget. If he wanted that wall, he would not have put that meeting in front of the cameras, which is something they kept saying, and he'd be willing to give them something for it. Dreamers uh, protections would be a very, very easy trade. It'd actually, in fact, be a popular trade for him to make and probably even for them to make. But the thing about Trump is he doesn't want the wall. He wants the fight over the wall. And that's where I think you're right. I don't think they know exactly what to do with a president who doesn't want his policies because he doesn't care about policy. What he wants to do is have fights with Democrats about policy or about policy ideas or about words that sound like policy ideas and have those fights on camera. Um, the fact that those fights don't rebound well for him, the fact that it's not at all obvious that he's in a popular position doesn't really seem to bother him. His Trump runs his presidency as if the question is whether the ratings in the television show he's starring on are good, whether the plot twists are interesting. And today was a good day in the Trump show. But if you're somebody who actually believes in Donald Trump's vision for America, it was a terrible day. It was a day when you saw that he has no interest at all in negotiating to get that vision done.